the collector's yeah, item, and they're it, always very popular. Special, yeah. So um, you talk about you see something you like and you want to add it in. Like I have always been a fan of the Rudolph uh, animated series that comes on every year, and you have uh, a collection based on those characters. Well, you know how this came about. <clears throat> you know this sort of uh, early on. I had done a, or I'd been invited to do a collaboration with the folks at Disney. Mm -hmm. And that was, um, uh, you know, v well, very successful from the very beginning. And so, based on the success of that, the folks at, uh, that you know, handle the Rudolph property, you might say, or the license, I guess you'd call it, um, they approached me and said, okay, we, you know, we, we're aware of the Disney thing, we, we want to do ours too. Mm -hmm. And, and at first, you know, quite frankly, I was reluctant to do it. And the reason why is because, uh, for one thing, it's, it's so whimsical, I wasn't sure whether it could really fit the design, mm -hmm. with, you know, my, my style of design, which is kind of folk art, you know? And, um, and, and secondly, I wasn't sure if, while it was a, a tradition in my family, I wasn't sure whether, you know, there's uh, enough people out there that shared our enthusiasm. So I gave it a try, and I did initially. I did three pieces, mm -hmm. and, and I actually impressed myself with how good they well, were. Well, came out, <laughs> uh huh. So, <clears throat> so we've been, you know, we've been adding to it, you know, ever since. But we we debuted the collection right here yeah. on QVC. Oh, very nice. Yeah, like, I was with Jackie. Well, thank you for sharing and, uh, that with yeah. us because I love that you were able to stay true to the characters, mm -hmm. but still put yourself into it. So just those, like you said, your gym short touches, the yeah, quilting. See, that's that's the goal I always pursue on any of the co-brands, and this is a co-brand, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want it to be is I want to be so faithful to the, you know, the characters themselves, mm -hmm. so that the, a, a person looking at the piece for the first time would not automatically say, oh, that's a Jim Shore piece. Mm -hmm. I want them to say, hey, that's that's uh, that's Santa and, uh, and and Rudolph, or that's Hermie, or that's mm -hmm. Bumble, or, you know, whatever, <laughs> first. Yes. And, and so it, it's totally recognizable. Then they can look at it and say, oh, yeah, that's uh, that's got Jim Shore's footprint on it, so it's mm -hmm. one of his pieces. Well, what's <laughs> unique about this particular <clears throat> one, you may notice Rudolph's little nose is blinking. That's so right. this is actually a light-up figure. It is. Um, it takes two AAA batteries, and then you could see you could turn it on or off, and Rudolph's yeah. little nose just lights up. Got a little switch right here. So you don't have to have it on, yeah. but you know what? It's kind of cute yeah, yeah. because that's how Rudolph. That's part of the story. story. Yep, he <laughs> led the way. He led the sleigh because of yeah. that bright little nose. Well, you know, and it's uh, and once again, you know, while it it has some of the characters involved here, you know, one of the misfit toys and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a so. Compositionally, I guess you might say, if you want to look at it as an art piece, mm -hmm. I think it uh, it fits the bill. But it's also part of a you know a larger collection that's within the line. So, for anybody who who you know knows my line and, and uh, is familiar with going through and looking for different things, uh, they'll find plenty of uh, of Rudolph things to go along with this. But this is the uh, the the you know the size and the and the the um, Oh, substance, I guess, of this piece makes it a very, very good piece to have as a, as a center, one of the centerpieces for the overall collection. For the, for if you wanted to put yeah. the, all mm -hmm. of the characters together. <clears throat> now, this will measure for you about five inches tall and five inches in the length. Now, Jim, we were talking about the resin that this is crafted mm -hmm. from. Like, this would be something <clears throat> my little kids would be drawn to. Yeah. Because it's in the resin, I wouldn't mind if they say, can I hold it? Yeah, can I touch can, it? This yeah, isn't something a, I would put up on a shelf and say, do not it's touch. It's not like a piece of porcelain mm -hmm. or something that's so fragile. It's pretty substantial stuff. It's, the, it's, a, it's a resin that is uh, it's, uh, it's filled with material that makes it easy to, to paint. And so the paint that goes on, which is extremely high density lacquer, mm -hmm. <clears throat> becomes part of the piece. That means that it will never wear off or it won't scrape off. You can't scrape it off. It's almost it's, like it's absorbed it's by material. Of, it's, yeah, the process that we use, and, and sometime maybe I'm just going to go into the, to the process, tell everybody the process from start <laughs> to finish. That'd be a show all by itself. <laughs> but uh, but but the finished product, you know, the painting is excellent, the paint quality is excellent, and the and the the piece, as you say, made out of the type of resin we use in our process, makes it a pretty durable piece. 
Well, only 600 of this brand new Rudolph figurine uh, are left to go around. It's available at a Christmas in July sale price. So just keep in mind that's for this month only. And then after that, uh, that sale price will expire. It's our only Rudolph piece it's a in this good, show. It's, it's, you know, if you like the subject, this is a this is a good piece, to, you know, for that. It can be a standalone piece or with the collection either way. Well, don't move. We still have an entirely brand new show, new pieces from Jim Shore to share with you. And coming up, we have the 12 days.